Hi, welcome back to another episode of The Vintner. Uh, today we're going to take a look at this power supply tester from Keylog. It does um, pretty much a quick diagnostic of your power supply, putting it under load. This runs an automatic test measuring the voltage, current, and voltage ripple of any Atari 8-bit 5-volt DC power supply. Uh, that's a mouthful there. So it's not going to work with the Atari uh, 400 or 800 power supplies, which are 9-volt AC. Uh, it's also not going to work with any of the peripherals, you know, the disk drives and so forth that use those other power supplies. Just the main power supply for the uh, older Atari 8-bit computers uh, after the 400 and 800. Uh, so this measures the 5-volt DC output and the ripple at a constant current of roughly 400 to 500 milliamps. So you can see on the display here, right now it's uh, pulling 439 milliamps from the power supply to put it under a load and showing that while the power supply is working, uh, it's able to provide 5.2 volts, which, which is great for your Atari computer. So this lets you plug this into any of your 5 volt Atari power supplies, put a load on it and show you what that power supply is providing. By forcing a constant current from your power supply, it's putting it under load. And so that's really a good way to test your power supplies. If you were to use just multimeter, multimeter will show you five volts, you know, if that's what the power supply is doing, but there's no load on the supply. So it could perform less than that when you uh, plug it into your computer. And we're gonna get back to that in a minute. This tester also has a built-in aluminum heat sink on the back side, you can see here. Uh, for dissipating heat during long-term tests. Uh, in fact, I've had this uh, sitting here on the bench probably 24 hours. Uh, plugged it in yesterday and just wanted to see what it would do overnight. Uh, we can check the temperature. You can see here, 106 degrees on the heat sink right now. So it's pulling the power, of course, from the power supply and converting it to heat in order to uh, get that load on that power supply. It's got to do something with that energy. Obviously, showing you how your power supply is actually delivering 5 volts is nice. On top of that, the ripple value is the variation in the DC voltage within your power supply, which has been derived from your AC wall socket. Uh, again, this one showing a ripple value of 0 0.01 volts. Technically speaking, any ripple in the DC power is due to incomplete suppression of the alternating waveform. Again, converting the waves of AC to just the flat line of DC. So this information is good to see how well your power supply is keeping up with converting from AC to DC. Because that's what this supply is doing. It's taking, uh, at least here in the US, 120 volt AC from the wall and converting it to DC. So not only is it moving 120 volts to 5 volts, but changing how it's working from AC to DC. So it's doing a couple things in here. And it's nice to see how well it's doing in that conversion from AC to DC. Now, getting back to the idea of testing with a multimeter, uh, we can see here, uh, again, we know what this is doing with the full tester. I'm going to go ahead and unplug this. And let's get some helping hands here. Yeah. pop this on oh, let's go there and we know this is putting out five volts from the full tester but let's take a look with the multimeter it's putting out 5.24 so the full tester was showing under load it's 5.20 volts uh, with no load on here it's doing 5.24 volts. Okay, good enough. We know the supply is good from using the tester, but what's nice for this video is I actually bought this power supply in a quantity of two off of eBay. And the seller, um, nice guy, was, um, he posted it with, these both have been tested with a multimeter. They both show five volts. And so I felt pretty confident to go ahead and buy two of them. Let's uh, plug this one in. 
And we can see, let's check this. This one is indeed, yeah, with the wire in the way. This one is indeed showing 5.18 volts. So you'd think this is working fine. It, it's giving you five volts. But again, the multimeter is not putting it under any load. So let's go ahead and plug this into the tester. And nothing. The, the tester won't even work. It, as it tries to put this power supply under load, the power supply can't keep up with it. And it doesn't even give enough power to power up the tester. And I'm going to unplug that. Uh, I tried this out the other day and what I found interesting after it wouldn't work with the tester, but it showed five volt on the multimeter. I had it plugged in for a couple minutes and I could actually start smelling um, that electrical smell you get when something's on too long. Um, it was something that's broke that is on too long starts just emitting that electrical scent. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and unplug this right now. So that's, uh, that right there is a pretty good world example that just testing with a multimeter isn't going to do it for you. Uh, you need some kind of tester. Now I picked up this one. Uh, there's other ones on the market. And this company also makes testers for uh, Commodores, Amigas, uh, ZX Spectrums. Uh, they also sell power supplies. So you can check them out. I'll put a link in the description uh, for this particular one. Uh, I bought this off Amazon for about 30 bucks plus, um, you know, tax and maybe some shipping. So I, it's pretty good value for what it does and lets you check uh, all your power supplies. I know there's a lot of collectors out there, two, five, 18 or more Atari computers. Uh, and you want to make sure all your supplies are good and they're not going to blow up your computers. Uh, hope you found this video helpful. Uh, comment below. Let me know uh, if you've got one of these or what other testers you have that you've tried out. I'd be interested to know what other ones uh, are out there and what people have tried and how well they've uh, worked. So until next time, ciao.